Hey Floss Tube, it's Janet, Janet from Janet Jabber. I'm coming at you with episode eight of my Floss Tube. If you just stumbled upon me, um, this is a channel about cross stitching. Um, if you have been here before and you're coming back for me, thank you so much. I appreciate all the comments and all the love. Um, I, I look forward to those, so thank you. Uh, and then if you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy what you see, stick around and uh, keep coming back if it if I bring you anything you're interested in anyway other than that I'm gonna jump in first of all I had a shout out this week from um, made by Michelle McGraw I love watching her episodes uh, her Disney ep epic Disney that she's doing is amazing it's gonna be a humongous piece uh, I'm thinking about jumping in on it uh, it's just so big <laughs> Um, we'll see. We'll see. But thank you, Michelle. Thank you so much for the shout out. If you're coming at me from her recommendations, um, I hope you like what you see. Uh, next, I'm going to give you a few updates. So on Sunday, I went to a Central Indiana Stitchers meetup. Um, it was advertised in the Midwest uh, Cross Stitchers group on Facebook. Uh, there was about nine of us there. My sister went with me. Um, it, was a, it was a pretty awesome day. Uh, we met up and stitched for about like two hours together. So it was pretty cool. Nice to meet those ladies, uh, new and old stitchers alike. So it was, it was pretty cool. So if, uh, I, I encourage everyone to jump out and try to make those. I, I'm actually going to look into trying to do something around here if I can get my ducks in a row. So, uh, another thing actually Sunday was the, uh, I don't even know what you call this, the anniversary or the second year of my mother's passing. And so it was kind of cool that my sister and I um, were together on that day. And my mom cross-stitched. So it, you get, you get what I'm saying. But on Saturday night, um, I wanted to be sad. So um, my daughter got home and I have uh, this ear. I've had this for a while. Um, mm, three years. And my mother loved pearls, so I went and changed it out to a pearl in honor of her. So I'm gonna be wearing that jewel. So, and that was, uh, I had gone up to a tattoo parlor called Grade A Tattoos. Uh, the gentleman that changed out my jewelry for me, his name is Brad Razor. Um, uh, anyway, pretty cool and I, I don't know, just something I was happy to do. Other than that, um, I did finish out the Witchy Stitchy uh, challenge so uh, I did do my 13 days of stitching we'll see I think they posted um, what the needle minder reward was gonna be like and it was pretty cool so uh, I'll if I actually made the list and uh, everything went work worked out well I'll show you that when I get it so that's it as far as updates go I'm gonna move into my stitching so I have a finish this week um, oh I forgot to grab the chart so sweeping cobwebs I finished in a modified version. So there's a lot changed on this chart. I changed all the colors. Um, the chart's in, a, in a, a past video. Sorry, I didn't bring it to the table with me, but there was a couple more witches on there, a branch, an owl, um, some cats dance, dancing with pumpkins heads. And um, I just wanted to make it shorter and more, I don't know, it fits me. So I like it. I like how it turned out. Um, this is on a Monaco 28 count that I had tea coffee dyed. Um, a fully finish that I did on the first of every single month, I start uh, hands-on designs a year of celebration for that month. It's usually a pretty quick stitch, so I stitched it up and finished it over the weekend. So this is my November. Oh, pretty cool. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't know what's causing my dogs to bark. Uh, probably other dogs in the neighborhood. So that was my only fully finished. Now I am excited to show you a past stitching that is not mine. My mother-in-law now, when I met her for the first time, I walked into her trailer and hanging in her kitchen was a piece of cross stitching. And I said, oh, who cross stitched Paula Vaughn? And she was like, how did you know that? So hence, that's where the introduction started. But this is my mother-in-law's. She stitched this back in 1989. I actually have um, the booklet for all 12 uh, 
of these charts well I don't know what I don't even know what chart this one is but all 12 of these charts for the monthly um, but I've been intimidated to do it all along because it's a color chart and I actually am gaining confidence in that so I would love to someday stitch I don't know if I do all 12 but I I had it one time and aspired to do that so we'll see but um, it needs some love I actually need to get I need to give it a washing and see if it'll get uh, if it'll clean up at all but I wanted to share this with you she actually was she already she wrote my name on it and that it was coming to me and uh, already passed it on she's she's still alive but she passed it on for me to have so um, so that's a past stash I apologize if you're hearing my dogs wandering around and and breathing heavy so it's a sunny day here and I think they're just kind of uh, anxious so I'm gonna move into my whips. I actually only have a few for this week. Um, I kind of got so focused that I wanted to like get caught up or 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 just be where I was. I, you'll see what I'm talking about because I had that fully finished. Um, Sleeping cobwebs was a finish during the week, and the um, a year of celebration was a finish. So I did have other ones, but those were finished. Finished. Anyway, the last part dropped for um, Emerald City, and. I'm trying there you go so over here see those vines I'm starting the last part it'll be super cute when it's finished um, I'll be excited to show you hopefully that's a fully finished for me to show you next week um, but I started on the last section of that um, I have worked of course on Harry every single day I am so excited to show you this don't look at the dirt um, I have the red and the yellow block complete blue I should knock out today um, I haven't decided whether I'm going to go ahead and do the banner across the bottom before I do all that back stitching we'll see again I actually think that I may finish this in November at the rate that I'm going and I'm pretty happy with it and then I'll pick another daily focus that I stitch on every day and then deck the halls which I do not have a chart to show you either um, you've seen it by other ones I'm sure I am what, four sections done fifth section dropped and I will be starting on that uh, this I love stitching on this I love uh, I don't know this is my color fabric I uh, dyed this one just at eight o'clock so pretty cool pretty fun that's it as far as my whips go so what do I have else I have for you sorry I had fixed my pile over here what else I have for you this week is a uh, a couple of things I my haul I actually have some haul coming I well you know I was out of work for a while so there's gonna be some haul in my next video um, I would say a little makeup but it's actually planning for 2020 so I will show it to you and we'll go through that it's not came yet um, I actually have more haul that's not just cross stitching but um, I'll show you anyway um, my monthly color and cotton oh this is you're not gonna see this today sorry folks do you see there's a little bit of the marbling it's actually called morning mist but I'm not really able to show you the colors of it and then I had to go out from cross stitch being at the cross stitch retreat I was stitching so much I had I was I had a sore spot on my finger here so I went to the store and I bought this oh, everything is full I bought this soft comfort thimble it works um, to to put on there I don't wear it all the time but it worked to let this get healed I'm fine now but um, it's funny I was like okay that's part of my arsenal now I must keep that just in case I I don't know, stitch too much and knock it out of the park a couple other things I wanted to share with you that was it for my haul a couple other things I wanted to share with you are some finds that I found um, pretty much through Facebook so you might may already know about this but I'm not gonna show you the chart but what I'm gonna show you is just a, a little quick thing hands-on design has a thing to where I saw oh this wasn't on Facebook this was on snapchat maybe 
Nope, Instagram, sorry. And it said that if you went and signed up for her newsletter, that they would send you a free chart, and they did. My chart is called Mary, and I'm super excited about this. So I wanted to share that with you to Hands On Design. If you like their style of stuff, uh, you can get free charts and by signing up for their newsletter. The second one that I stumbled upon from, I don't know which group on Facebook, but Jardin Purvey is doing a 2009 Noel Sal. I said that, I'm sure I said that wrong, but anyway, part one dropped, which is right here. Um, of course, you can't read. Well, I can read this section here. So it's way five parts, 187 by 81. So it, it'll be decent size. I got to get my fabric for that, but I'm going to jump in and do that one. It, it shouldn't be that bad. It's just five little starts. And my other, like Deck the Hall Sal is almost done. Emerald City is almost done. I don't think that I'm part of any other sows right now that I can think of. Oh, um, so I just wanted to share that with you in case you hadn't stumbled. Actually, when I was on Jardin Brevets, if I'm saying that correctly, um, she has some other free charts on that blog that I um, snagged up trees for different seasons. So check it out. Go check it out if you uh, are interested in it all. Um, so jumping into my plans, uh, I do, as you know, the 24 hours of cross stitch, acrostic, so I will be working on that. Um, I've already uh, got ready to go the quote of the month for um, Stony Creek Design, no, nope, Stony Creek Collections. I do one of those every single month, so hopefully I've got that knocked out and I can share that as a complete um, this next week. Uh, hopefully Emerald City is a complete for you for next week. Uh, and I'll pull out a couple others um, I, I just to I don't I just to get through my acrostic and be able to have more things to show you so um, beyond that something I started on November 1 was um, 30 days of gratitude over on my Instagram account so if you're not following me on Instagram go check it out um, Janet Jabber is all you have to look up on Instagram and it's a different topic for every day um, and I give my my answer and I have already have the love of people jumping in and giving their answer to it on my on my feed So it's pretty cool So don't be afraid to jump over there and check me out on Instagram and uh, Join in on the fun for the month of November. So That's it for my plans for this week. Um, sorry about the background noise. Uh, there's been a little activity in the house today, but um it is what I use when I have animals and kids. So other than that, I'm go gonna wish you um, that you jump in and uh, keep stitching and enjoy your life this week. And other than that, I'm gonna wish you much love. Thank you.